Uh, drugs, cell phones and shop objects are just some of the things found at Paul's Mall Prison in the Western Cape. Walls designed to keep dangerous inmates out of sight. We literally just got into Paul's Mall right now. We've been given exclusive access inside Paul's Mall Prison. If you don't do the gang's way, then the gang will turn upon you. I will stab you in my heart. What? Hundreds of South African soldiers were deployed on Thursday to crime-ridden suburbs of Cape Town. Would you say Paul's Mall is one of the most dangerous prisons in the world? Paul's Mall are the most dangerous prisons in the world. Yo, what's up, boys? So we're on the way to Paul's Mall Prison yo, now. Yo, yo, we're, yo, yo. we're like, we're literally like, we're literally the first YouTubers to go to Paul's Mall. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Paul's Mall Prison? Yo, shit. <laughs> yo, numbers, bro. Numbers. <laughs> numbers. Numbers. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of Paul's Mall Prison? <laughs> Why do you pull that face? <laughs> no, no. It's a scary place. Do you think it's the most dangerous prison in the world or not? I think so. It is. Why would you say so? Because things that are happening inside, they're very, yeah, scary. Do you know if anyone's ever escaped from Paul's Mall? Paul's Mall? No, you can't no, escape. No. Burglar bars bent and inmates squeezed their way through. There was only one guard on duty for more than a hundred prisoners in this section. They disappeared into the night. Driver, did they put you in the bike? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? What do you what do you think the, the, the prisoner's favorite food is at Pozmo? <laughs> Millis. <laughs> Yo, shut up man, thank you, huh? <laughs> what if I told you we're going to Pozmo prison mm -hmm. after this interview? Can you give me some advice before we go there? Don't drop so <laughs> What do you think like the prisoner's favorite food is? Their favorite food? Um, probably something that keeps him full like bread, noodles, yeah. something noodles. like that. Noodles, noodles on, on your bread. bread. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I will find the temple boys there. <laughs> oh shit, what's going on here bro? Whoa. Oh, 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 so someone just got robbed right now. Pass the camera. Holy sh! So oh, just keep. keep oh, okay. 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 He's definitely the most powerful. He's definitely the most powerful. They just caught him. They just caught him. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? He's definitely going to pose. He's definitely going to pose. Yeah, let's go. Oh, when you're not, did, you, did you get him? Ah. I saw you tackle him! <laughs> right now we're heading to Paul's Mall Prison. We're actually about five minutes away from Paul's Mall Prison. We're gonna investigate, we're gonna find out what's going on at Paul's Mall and what hopefully they, survive. Most people think it's like cool to be in Paul's Mall, but that's what we wanna find out. It's bro, actually cool. Who thinks it's cool to be in <laughs> Paul's Mall, bro? <laughs> Only <laughs> science <laughs> going Do you guys think like American prisoners could survive in Paul's Mall? Nah, 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 nah. Not a nah, chance. Nah. These, these guys here are built like a little bit different. We were actually thinking about it the other day, but do you think American, like uh, USA prisoners, yeah. could survive in Paul's Mall? There's no nonsense. We take no nonsense here. Yeah. So you guys know, Zano's a lawyer actually. Like, yeah. he's, he's like our lawyer, bro. Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you guys do like the video, support the channel, like the video. Maybe Robin Island, bro. What do you say? Robin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, we're gonna we're gonna canoe there, bro. Bro, I'm kind of scared, dude. Like, what if the guards don't even let us in? Try right, oh, yeah, yeah, Fuck. Yeah, okay, guys, up. we're literally about to get in. Entrance is um just here. We just need to like hide the camera. All right, let's put this phone up. Oops, I think I have a warrant out. There. <laughs> There's a risk. Oh shit, the phone. Fuck. So. Shaking. Ah, right, yo, we're pulling in right now. Hi, right, chief. How are you? Um, do you know where we park? We can't go in this side, hey? We can't come in here. Mm -mm. Okay. Is this for okay. visitors or something? For state vehicle police. Yo, so we can't come in this entrance. Damn. So we're gonna try, just climb over the wall. Um, see what's going on in Paul's Mall. This is actually the fence over here. Okay, so we're up on the tree now. Can you see, bro? 
dude. Is it in, is, what's going on there? I can see like offices, buildings and shit, but like there's no like... There's no one in the yard? Nah, there's no like prisoners and stuff. Alright boys, head down, sir, before we get arrested. Can I, can I give you the phone, bro? Look, I think we're trying to get someone escape. <laughs> we're trying to make an escape. Yeah, so you're not allowed to actually... Let's just try oh, crime into the prison I don't know why you guys are so chilled about looking over a prison wall. I feel like that's the most sus thing you can <laughs> hey, ever do. So yeah, this is like the biggest um, like contradiction ever. Because this is like... Look at this house, bro. Just look at these houses, this farm style, like this whole setup. And then just there, just like a few meters away, like next door to the prison actually, are the most dangerous people in the country. Nice. Oh, so there's the entrance, bro. We need to put the camera up. Take the car behind us. Thank bro. you, man. It's like, it's like fine dining. Oh, damn. We just broke into Paul's Mall. your own risk. Uh, surely that's not a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> we just broke into Paul's Mall. Wait, sorry. Uh, so yeah. this is literally inside the walls of Paul's Mall prison, bro. So I wonder, this must be like where all of like the staff and like the guards live, bro. Bro, they got DS and shit here. They got DS TV here. <laughs> so should we just fucking check out the neighborhood, boys? Bro, oh, look at this. There's a Porsche here. <laughs> you must be kidding me. There's even apartments in here. Not much accommodation this year, bro. Damn, bro. Which way do you think we go? It's crazy. It's like a ghost town, but there's people Yeah, Wait, there's, right. there's someone. Um, there's no directions in here, so I think the best thing to do is to ask. Hey, bro. How are you, man? Is it safe here? I'm scared of, like, the prisoners. No, it's safe. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you so much, Jess. Thanks, guys. We literally just got into Paul's Mall right now. Inside, actually. Look look behind us. If you guys Under can guess what's behind us. Of Paul's Mall. Then you're a smart-ass mother But Let me guess. Let me take a guess. Paul's Mall. <laughs> you guys can see that's I don't know what cell block that is. We might need to pull up. Cell whoa, 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 you can actually see it. prisoners like waving. Here comes at us, the transport. They're actually transporting them from um, block D to block C, I think. They all share one shower and a toilet, but often it's just a bucket. Disease outbreaks, severe overcrowding. Inside this prison hell. Check, let's check Bro, what this is. Is there like a crime problem here or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, just in case if someone has to escape. <laughs> so we're outside the Paul's Mall um, shop. We're gonna go get some like, I don't know, whatever we can get in Handcuffs. there. Handcuffs. <laughs> <Yeah, I'm> Handcuffs. <laughs> Probably gonna get some sweets and a Coca-Cola, bro. And... Apparently. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Buying a quick Coca-Cola. There's so much barbed wire outside. What? Who's gonna break it? The protection, the burglar bars. Do they? The, the, the prisoners. prisoners? Other people. Outside. And then uh, they come, they jump over the wall. Oh. Uh, that's so brave that people yo. break into no? this wall to then steal. To steal. <laughs> your boy. South Africa is a movie. Dumb, bro. That, that's South crazy. Africa is another so place. Yeah. Like, that's like the easiest know. way of ending up in Portsmouth. Right. <laughs> uh, we have it. Imagine like, you must protect the shop at the, you must protect the shop at the prison. <laughs> To steal from a prison community. CJ, CJ, what are you doing in Paul's Mall right now? I love you. What's the craziest thing you've heard of, like, about Paul's Mall? Uh, prisoners escape already. Why? Prisoners escape yes. from Paul's Mall? Yes, they went something to do with drain or something. <laughs> Can you give us a little bit of a voom voom voom? No, no, stop. He's gonna get arrested. He's gonna get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> get arrested. Shut up, bro. No, Everyone thanks, bro. You just searched the boy South Africa. I think I did watch your videos already. Ah, yeah, uh, just, shout out bro, shout out bro. Thank you bro. Sure, Thanks for the time man. Hey, hey, come. Damn. Is this dog not gonna bite someone? No. Do you guys do you guys live here? Yeah. Ah, yeah, we do okay. I know you guys not like afraid like that the prisoners would jump over. Okay, a few times they did it they did try right to break out, but I mean when the alarm goes off and no one is allowed to go outside the gates, but except to be on the premises. So we were at Cavendish earlier, and we were actually just interviewing someone about Paul's Moor. And then out of nowhere, some guy comes running past, and he just like snatched the phone. They just called him, they just called him. Just called him. He's definitely the guy to Paul's Moor. Sax was like freaking out. No, 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 I wasn't. Because <laughs> your parents work in the facility, right? They stay up in prison. They fight this. So yeah. How do they like bring in a knife or like? No, it's not what they bring in, is they make it. You know, um, planks, Yo. sharpen it, make it into a knife. Now, drugs, cell phones, and sharp objects are just some of the things found at Paul's Mall Prison in the Western Cape. Do you get scared, like, yeah. with your dad working there, like, what, like from his safety or like if they, I don't know, stabbed him or something? No. No. I 
Or do you feel more? Do you sick? love your dad? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> the other really cool NGO we saw online and that person was telling us about is join bands, not gangs. A local non-profit is hard at work to change all of that. They called join bands, not gangs, and they are bringing instruments in to help gangsters out. So we'll pop up some info in like an interview that, oh, should we go? There was a guard over there. Yeah, should we try well, to I find him? Yeah. I think I'll, I'll car safe there. No, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh. Leave your doors open. You need to lock that shit. Maybe just ask, see if he says anything. Afternoon. Do you work here, right? Yeah, I work here. So what's the craziest thing you've heard? You know, most in prison is there. There's a lot of stabbings. There's a lot of stabbings. Yeah. Can we ask you a question quickly, man? Is Portsmouth is it quite dangerous in there? Yeah, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. So you don't want to go inside if you can avoid it. No. <laughs> is that a fresh tat I see? Yes, that I just looks... made it yesterday. I like that tat. That's actually really. What does cool. it mean? Faith. Like, I never used to have faith in myself or faith in other people or faith in what I'm doing. So I, have so much, I have so much faith in you. I, have, I believe in you. I believe yeah, in you. So that never is, ever think that again. Yeah, so that is why I put it on. So now I do believe in myself. And I now you have faith. faith. Yes, I have faith in myself and I have faith in God. All right, thank you so much, guys. Do you think if we try climb this fence here, I can't jump. You're not allowed. <laughs> How would you jump over this? I actually saw a video where the guys had escaped and they threw like their blankets over the fence. They escaped through breaking down the butler bus and then they jumped to the two fences. No, 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 no. Like task a police force. like task force. Like that literally, is like they actually pounce on niggas that they're literally watching us now, bro. Damn, and I don't so think we're allowed to be this close to, so close to the but fence. But Sax, I back you to just try to break right through this thing, bro. It does seem kind of flimsy though, in a way. <laughs> no, like. Can you dig underneath and come out? Like you can't actually dig under here, bro, because it's all like cemented or and it's, like, the, tar road. On the sand road. part, like the, on the, the sand. Yeah, maybe should we get a? Do you guys have a spade, bro? We, maybe try break into Paul's. Ball, it wouldn't bro. be hard to like just like hoy someone like on someone's shoulders and then like pop over. Should like, we try? See, yeah. Should try. Come, come. I think we had no, three. this is illegal, boys. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> dog part of the security team. What's going on? Yo, you wouldn't want to mess with that dog. Yes. Yeah, so, so there's a whole restaurant in Paulsmore. But apparently, yeah, so like this is like the Paulsmore prison restaurant. And this is like low risk offenders that work here and like help out. So do the prisoners actually make the food? Yeah. Let's get some chow. Yeah, and even this is how we achieve this. Crazy. Yo. Maybe. There's a restaurant in the prison. <laughs> I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Oh, there's a chef there. Can I get a pork Russian pizza? Yeah. And can I get it with a salad? Can I get it with a salad? Yeah. Thanks so much, man. Can I get some chicken and a salad? Oh, man, bro! We also came a little bit late, so this is all they were serving at the moment, but I think they do have other good things. That boy really got a salad, dog. Sax, we want some tomato sauce with them, with those chips, dude. Dude, <laughs> dude, this is a Paul's more salad, bro. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? All right, let's jump, boys. This is the whole restaurant. Come support. Um, the guys that are actually making the food are actual prisoners. Do you know what I mean? So, so like we're eating literally. There's a guy. The only oh, chips that matter is like chips mm -hmm. that if you pick it up. Yeah, that one's flops. too delicious, bro. And, you know, it's made with love, literally. We're actually on our way to meet some gangsters, so I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, I'm shaky. There's no nonsense. We take no nonsense here. Yeah. I'm scared, bro. Yeah, we're gonna go into these gangsters and try to get like a little bit more of an insight into Paul's more. We're kind of risking our life right now, so... If you guys want to just get like 2,000 likes, like I'd appreciate that. <laughs> 2,000 likes because I could get shot in the leg today. Also, yeah, just like kind of let us know what you guys think about this style of video. I mean, like we want to do more of these kind of investigating videos. Um, we have a lot of fun with them. Um, and also disclaimer guys, we grew up in Botswana. So for us, it's very new, like seeing all of these things. I mean, growing up in Botswana, there's literally no gangsters. I mean, there might, there might, there might be gangsters in Botswana, but not really, you know? It's not like the same level of gangster, like... Yeah, they're considered gangsters. Yeah. We're just like naturally like a little bit more apprehensive, like... It's not as scary interviewing like Nasty C, um... Or well, Nasty's not gonna like stab you mid-interview, you know? Like, we're gonna survive, touch wood, we're, we're, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. 
Who am I here with? But maybe don't say your real name. Um, John Craig. John Craig. All right, all right. We're here with John Craig. Just, just a little bit about yourself. I grew up in the orphanage all my life. I went to school. I did my school finish. All that came out of the orphanage. Um, um, didn't have like a stable family support system. Um, became friends with certain people. Um, got involved with gangsterism. And why did you get sentenced? Armed um, robbery, attempted murder, robbery, um, robbery of jewelry stores and all that. And um, I got sentenced. First sentence was a 15 years. And the next sentence was a 16 years. And then did you did you ever go to Polsmoor? Yes, I was in Polsmoor uh, last year, recently now also. For, I was a motor vehicle, but I wasn't caught, you know, yet, so they got nothing on me. But I was six months in Polsmoor, sure. first time experience. And I realized that um, you... You can have what you want in prison, man. You can have how much money, man. No? Your freedom is priceless. We don't invite any offender here. They come here because they do alleged crimes. Like, what would you say Paul's most famous for? It's, it's, it's famous for, 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 mm. for numbers and for people, you know, that, that, that your young people, man, that, 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 that cold killers, you know that? So, yeah, prison, Paul's most famous for cold killers. So yeah. I would say that. And um, would you say it's one of the most dangerous prisons in the world? Yes, I would. Like I said, it's, it's, it's cold killers, it's, it's people that, that, that brag about shooting your face off. I mean, stuff like that, you know? Who brags about shooting your face off? Did you ever spend any time at Paulsmoor? Um, the longest I've been at Paulsmoor was a three or six, three or six months waiting trial prison. And you mentioned earlier that um, with that Ross Kemp uh, video or yeah. interview that went out, what happened with that? Were you there? Were you a part of that? Yeah, when Joanne came there and shoot this whole thing, um, that was in the 90s. And I took the knife and stabbed him in his heart. And the two times when the blood came out. Yeah. Was Johnny Mongrel, does that sort of ring a bell for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I met him a few times. We yeah. was that time there, that time in prison, and they won a different section, we won a different section. I got stabbed here in my heart. What? Yeah, and then they had to operate here. Yeah. That shit happened so fast, man. The guy came in, the guy stabbed, and as he stabbed, I blocked, and then he came again, and I stabbed, and I blocked again. Without me even knowing he stabbed me, when he walked away, the blood was making squirt, and so... And they took me to the hospital immediately, and that's what saved my life. Would you say Paulsmoor is one of the most dangerous prisons in the world? Paulsmoor are the most dangerous prisons in the world. And why, why would you say that? Anything can happen. You see now, there's someone lying, stabbed full of holes because something that he did or something that went wrong, so... What was it like the first day going into Paulsmoor? Like, were you scared? Well, how were you feeling? Okay, I wasn't nervous because I was I was a number already, you know, that before I went in, so I wasn't nervous. I was just like, I don't know what to expect because it's my first time in Polsmo. I've been to other prisons. But I just stick to my number, uh, my number thing, and then, um, you know, I believe that I'll be fine. Number 26, as you can see here, uh, XXVI. I can't put a 26 on because, I mean, I find myself in, in, in various places. Now people see 26 and they feel uncomfortable. So I put the XXVI over here. So it, it still represents the number 10, 10, 5, 1, 26. And then like, if I were to go into prison, I don't speak Afrikaans, but what's one like Afrikaans word that I should probably know when I go in there? You just be yourself in prison. Oh, but, is it? But yeah, but your heart uh, plays a big role. Your heart, you can't, you can't lose focus. The first time people is gonna come to you, try to rob you, take your stuff off, but you just have to stand on your man and say, no, you can't rob me and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because first time before I was uh, 26, um, I was also not a number. You know what I'm saying? So obviously people came to me and wanted to rob me, but I didn't allow that. You don't give me money or you give me. What can you say? You will give me. No other way. The craziest thing that you saw in Paulsmoor Prison? One morning I've been sitting in the room, we were about to have a breakfast, and to see the one guy hit another guy with a lock on the head, and I was like, wow, yeah, this shit happens, you know, this shit's real, yeah. Like a gate lock? Well, yes, with a, with a, with a, what? yeah, with, what, with, a rope on, with a rope on around. What? So they keep it kind of close with a rope, so that if you swing, it doesn't swing that much yeah. back to them, if it does repel. What's like the most kind of common slang words? Yeah, we're gonna go into Okay, cool. What was like a, a normal breakfast, lunch and dinner in, in Portsmoor? There's nothing as normal. <laughs> you get your porridge, you get your bread in the afternoon, 
Um, before one o'clock, you get your meal and that's your food tonight. Tomorrow you eat again eight slices of bread. That's it for you for tonight when you get hungry. What do you normally get for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Um, for breakfast, we get like um, we get um, maize meal, we get jungle oats, we get uh, more white, you know, and then for lunch you will get again uh, six slices of bread, um, brown bread, and you will get uh, mealies. You will get sometimes chicken with and vegetables. Okay. But I mean. If you live for 10 years, you're going to get 10 years the same meal. And then when you're in Paul's Mall, um, like within the prison, what was the best food? What was the best meal that you can remember? Sure, the best meal, there's nothing as best meal, yeah? <laughs> why, so, why not? Because the best meal is for you, it's Christmas time and New Year, we to get chicken, fried <laughs> chicken and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. then like with, um, with like the wardens and the police there, were there any nicknames that like the prisoners would call the wardens? Um, yeah, like Mapuja, Hatas, yeah, um, so a thing. So, Warden is called a Warden, but we call them Mapuja. Uh, what does Mapuja mean? It's like Hata, it's like a, 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 a nickname for a policeman. Like when you got out of prison for the first time, like maybe what was the first food that you maybe ate? Oh, the first food that was fast food. <laughs> like, honestly, a nice glass of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that Coca Cola is good, man. Yeah. What fast food was it, though? I'm, I'm so it was curious. Fish and chips. It was fish and chips. It was fish and chips. Me, you know. Oh, okay. Me, yeah. Okay. Just can I can I quickly take the camera? You want to jump in? Yeah. It's like I know you said there is like a kind of grocery shop in the prison. Yeah, you can shop here. What's like the most like um yeah. kind of most bought favorites kind of snack or food that gets bought from there? <laughs> Everybody buy mayonnaise, <laughs> mayonnaise and spice and noodles because it's long journey. Because you got your kettle. You buy you, you may, maybe see your 20 box of noodles, your two mayonnaise, and that will keep you for the month and your spices to give the food some flavor. <laughs> and then, man, um, we were actually thinking about it the other day, but do you think American, like uh, USA prisoners, could yeah. survive in Paul's Mall? No. But they're too like used to kind of having like TVs in their rooms. Nah, it's not like that. It's, there's no nonsense. We take no nonsense here. What's like, um, like one Afrikaans word you must know if you're going to go to Paul's Mall? Salute. <laughs> Salute. I don't want to say you're old, but you're, you're slightly older now. Yeah. What's some advice that you would give to like the youth? Um, don't go to prison. Try to make the best um, of a bad situation outside. Try to um, just try to stay out of trouble because once you go into the system of prison, it's, it's harder to get out. And, and, and to go in because once you're in the system, you're in the system. What advice would you give to like the youth? Um, the root, you know, they say the, the, the root of, of, of something is better, man. You know, it starts by drugs, man. You know, um, the beginning of, of your life, that's the most important part, the steps, man. You know, to accomplish you know, the little things so you can take on the big things. Thank you so much for your time, man. Really appreciate that. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>